With us now is uh, Melrose head coach, Emily Reller. Thank you, Coach, for coming up here tonight. No problem. All right. You know, you've had some close matches here with a team, although it's nice to finally cap it off with a win and get a smile out there, right? Oh, yes. Um, it's been <laughs> it's been a long two weeks, but like you said, a lot of close matches, and they've stung a lot. I know it's hard for me to lose um, and wrap my mind around some things to change. I know the girls struggled with those, especially those five-set losses that we've had. So it's definitely just like a confidence boost, obviously, to get a win. And in three sets makes it a little bit better, too. But we've been really working a lot on staying focused and having everybody on, and I think we did that well tonight. One thing I noticed with the Morris team, they like to move that ball around, go outside left, right side. That means then, too, the blockers have to adjust a lot. Who out there is going to do that job for Melrose on a block like that? Uh, I think we have to rely on our middles. I think in the second set, we definitely struggled um, getting there just because, like you said, they moved the ball around a lot. But Izzy and Aaliyah definitely need to work hard to try to see where the ball is going to go and time that block. And then also our pins, Avery Birch, Hannah, and um, Kaylee have to set it up as well. So it was a little bit tougher for us, like you said, because they moved it around. So just being able to read that ball a little bit better, I think they did a better job of that in the third set for sure. With a setter like Rhea Nelson, she also is a player that can really move that ball around. And uh, I just wonder offensively, what do you try to concentrate on? Uh, where does the offense take you there with Nelson setting? I think that's kind of been actually our struggle lately. Rhea's an amazing setter. She does really well, and she definitely is um, who we look to in, in games that are tough. So in our five-set losses recently, and we've had to talk about, like, ways that everybody can be on a little bit better. I think Rhea is able to set all of our positions and all of our hitters have the ability to be really great, but we haven't been able to keep that consistency. And I think tonight everybody had a good night, and that's really what we need because I think our strength is Rhea being able to set everywhere. And then we really do have strong hitters all over if they're able to, to be consistent. Um, and a lot of teams rely on – a couple really really good players um, and for us it's nice because we have a lot of options but again we all have to be consistent which is something that we're working on you know that's what I find interesting too is when a player does go up there and they make a mistake I always look at their reaction and how do you recover now are you just tipping or are you going to go back and swing again who do you see that does a good job of that kind of a, a recovery process out there for you uh, I think that is something that, again, we've been working on. You're bringing up a lot of points that we've been working on. And I, I really would like to mention Hannah tonight because we had some tough conversations about, you know, being able to allow me to pull people out and um, make changes. And I, I did take her out and put Savannah in today. And I think that allows some players to realize, like, hey, there's somebody behind me. There's other teammates trying to push me. And knowing that I still trust her and I put her back in and she was able to switch some things up and know that, hey, I, I'm not able to make these errors. I need to show up for my team. So Hannah did a nice job of just switching up some different roll shots, not necessarily tipping, um, but being smarter with her shots, hitting a little more high hands and making the defense move a little bit. But sometimes players like that, um, even though it might be frustrating, just need a second and, and need to realize that I still trust them, even though I need, may need to give them a break. Another area, too, is serving that I see this year, the Melrose team, they're serving hard, or it seems everybody has that line drive and no soft stuff going over, especially, say, a player tonight who scored a lot was Elfering. What are you trying to concentrate on when you're serving now? Uh, I, I'd credit a lot of that to uh, Coach Traeger because I, as I've learned uh, through my five years of coaching, I, I, I started off just kind of being, get your serve in. I hate giving up points. But Coach Traeger uh, is somebody who's kind of pushed me to help emphasize that we need to use our serve as more of a weapon. So the girls know that um, in order to, like, when we play teams like Bold um, in a couple days, like, who are very efficient, being able to get them out of system is going to be really key. And I think they did a good job of that here tonight against Morris and getting them to be out of system that way they can't set the ball quite as well so yeah using our serve a little bit more to get those setters moving and the hitters moving a little bit and allowing us to get um, just not as clean of a hit um, and we're definitely obviously going to need that on Tuesday being able to to move those passers around and and get bold out of system too well that that's for sure because bold won at Sox Center the other night and they've got two girls that can really bring it how are you going to try to block against that team? 
you know, that's a really good question. I'll probably think about that all night um, and over the weekend. But I think, especially with those two hitters, like we talked about, we're able to move the ball around um, a little bit more than Bold will. Obviously, their two hitters are very, very good. But I think um, getting a clean touch, setting our block up as consistently as we can so our defense can dig around the ball, I think if we move that block too much here and there, that's going to be a problem because those two hitters are especially good at hitting cross, hitting line. But just being consistent with our block getting a solid touch to slow the ball down and um, just make those hitters make a different decision is going to be be really key and just relying on our defense as best as we can so a good job tonight to get the sweep to go to the win 3-0 and again uh, just seeing the girls down there as they're talking with their friends and family <laughs> smiles that's kind of that's good to see yeah it's absolutely good to see you know I, and like I said before and and I'll say it again our conference is really good and we could be in the middle of the conference this year which is totally fine I think we just have to stay um just very consistent and realize when we go to tournaments we might do really well and when we get into section play we're going to do really well and benefit from this really good conference play even though we've had some tough five set losses the West Central Conference is truly just quality volleyball so